So this next section is going to get into perhaps one of my favorite features found within Microsoft Excel. We're going to discuss pivot tables. Now before we jump in and start to get our hands dirty and start to develop pivot tables within Excel, I want to talk about what is a pivot table? What is the purpose? Really just get an understanding, and I'll make this quick, an understanding of pivot tables themselves and why I think they are such a cool and effective tool within Excel. Take a look. Open in front of you, I've got our standard exercise file, which once again is a part of lecture number two. Download it, open it up, you can follow along with me. Now, I'm on a worksheet, it's the last one in the workbook, called Sales Data. And it's a simple little list. It's got some headers along the top, year, month, type, salesperson, and so on, and rows of records down below. We got just over 400 records in this list. Now, something very common that you're going to want to do with a list like this is summarize it. Because right now, this list is details. It's showing me details of each sale that's taken place. They're telling you what year, what the month was, what the type was, what actually got sold, who sold it, what region was it in, what was the amount, and so on. You got details, 400 plus detailed records of all the sales. Now, what I want to do is take the details and summarize it. I want to get something from here, this list on the left, to something like this over here on the right. I want to get a breakdown of the different months that we've made sales in, the different salespeople who sold during those months, and what did they sell? How much did they sell? This right here, this is a pivot table. It's just based off this data over here. So through a simple click and drag operation that we're about to walk through here throughout this section, you're going to see how to take this detailed set of records and summarize it down to something that looks like this here, a simple little spreadsheet. Now a pivot table, when you start creating one, has one, two, three, four different sections that you can put content into. It's got row labels, that's one. In this case, I put months into it. This is just the months for my list. It's got column labels. In my case, I grabbed the salesperson. It's got the data or the value where they're gonna calculate cross sections. Hey, for the month of January, Bishop sold this much. And this is where I grab sales from. And it's got a fourth spot, if I click into here, it's got a section called filters, which I'm not currently using. Hey, but you can also filter within a pivot table using the filter section. So this is really big picture here, but the idea is to go from detailed list down to a summarized little spreadsheet, something with row labels, column labels, and values, and with an optional filter included inside of the pivot table. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna go step by step through creating the pivot table and get into some other features of developing additional options within your pivot table. So let's take a look.